from Trader Joe's. We got a ton of fun pumpkin stuff, including this pumpkin bread. I'm gonna show you guys all the fun things that we got. Let me just go ahead and show you now that they're all taken out of the bags. So, we got gluten-free pumpkin bread muffin mix. We got sunflower butter cookies, yum. Never had these before. I've actually never even seen these at Trader Joe's before, but vegan and gluten-free, so it sounded good. Gluten-free pumpkin bread, I've already shown this like twice, so there it is again. Fall leaf corn tortilla chips, so cute. All the leaves are, or all the chips are in the shape of a leaf, so that's fun. Last year when I went to Trader Joe's, I was obsessed with these. Pumpkin spice bagels, gluten-free. Again, a lot of places don't have very many gluten-free options, let alone like really good gluten-free options, and these are amazing. So obviously we got two of them because they're really good. And then also they have vegan uh, cream cheese. I wasn't sure which ones that I liked because it's been a long time since I've had them, but I got the vegan cream cheese alternative, just like the plain one. And then I also got the cashew milk cream cheese. So. I don't know. We're going to try both of them and see which ones taste the best with the bagels. I'm going to put these in the fridge, actually. Oh, also gluten-free pum pumpkin pancake mix. This they always have every year, too, which is really good. This, though, I've never seen before. The protein maple muffin. It's not gluten-free. Or it is gluten-free, sorry, but it's not dairy-free. So I might just have to risk it for the biscuit on this guy. But it looked good. And then we got... Pumpkin spice herbal blend tea because I've had this before and it's really really good But I didn't finish it all and then I had to throw it all away and that was it goes bad So got a new one of those. I really love this tea spiced cider spiced apple cider This will be a really good to have one night this fall. I got fall harvest salsa Which I've never had before so that will go good with the fall leaf chips and then how crazy is this. At Trader Joe's they have the whole like skincare toiletry section and I found this pumpkin overnight face mask. Can't wait to try that. I'll probably vlog it whenever I put it on this week because I cannot wait to try this. I think it's gonna be really good. It says it has pumpkin fruit extract, papaya enzymes, and plant derived. I don't even know what that is but it looks great. We're gonna try this bad boy out this week and I will vlog it whenever I do. So we got some other stuff too that's not really fall themed, not as exciting, so I'm going to put all the rest of this stuff away, but wanted to show you guys the spread. Not wait to try it all and just feel, you know, in the fall spirit because it is officially October 3rd, so it's time for autumn activities. This weekend, yesterday, we went to the pumpkin patch, which was really fun. It was Levi's first time, obviously, because this is his first year being on this not in my stomach <laughs> and we took him to the pumpkin patch and put him in the little pumpkin wagon thing and like rode him all around it was really sweet uh, the pumpkin patch was really endearing and they had frozen music playing and all the kids were kind of out doing their thing and it was really really special and fun yeah i just feel like i'm having like a falled out weekend over here let's just see how these taste i can even open it <sighs> Ooh, that smells Really good. It smells kind of like mango-y. Let's give it a go. Mmm. That is really good. Really, really good. And it's going to be even better when I put it in the fridge and it's cold. You guys got to try some of these. Look at this little leaf um chip. <laughs> Let me get you the cookies. You got to try one of those. Mm -hmm. A taste test of the sunflower butter cookies. Ooh, they're soft. Baby. Hmm. Oh. Actually, not what I was expecting. Good. Not amazing. I feel like their cinnamon snickerdoodle ones are better. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're good though, but they're not as sweet or something. Uh -huh. We finally got our setup back here in the backyard. We have slowly put furniture out here and gotten things put together. So our newest addition is the love seat that Adam's sitting on. He built that one today. This fire pit thing we have had from our old house and then also that 
heating lamp we had from our old house as well. So slowly coming together. And then over here, we recently bought a lounge chair that has its cover on right now. And then over here, we have a cute little table setup that also has its cover on, so you can't really see it. But slowly, slowly coming together out here. So just doing a little Sunday evening happy hour. Did you have a good nap, dude? You woke up just in time for happy hour. <laughs> Do you like our new setup out here? Daddy built it while you were sleeping? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't believe you're gonna be 11 months this week. <laughs> that was a cute smile. Waving to daddy over on the couch. Say hi, daddy over there. Hi. Oh, <laughs> good waving. I can't believe he can do it. <laughs> I'm standing in the garage right now, which is where I do all of my work for Addison and Gray, which is the boutique that I own and run. I am starting to prep for the photo shoot we have this week. We have one on Wednesday, so um, usually I use this rack to kind of like hang all the inventory that we're gonna shoot. I'm really excited because I just ordered a big kind of, it's a sign, but it's like a, what's the word? Like a tapestry, and I put the Addison and Gray logo on there, so I'm really excited. It just came in the mail. I ordered it off of Etsy probably like a few weeks ago and it just came. So I'm gonna hang it up on that back wall. I think it'd just be fun for me to have more of like an official label to our little garage space because we have our workout area over there in the garage and then just a ton of random storage stuff out here. And so it's just kind of like random that this is also where I work. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a, you know, have a little sign, make it official. Okay, can we all just agree that walking through spider webs is the absolute worst thing ever? I was trying to get in the car. I was getting Levi in the car. He had woken up from his nap and I finished getting some work done. Get in the car and in between my car and Adam's car, it must've been a web because when I was putting Levi in his car seat, I felt it all over my legs and I was like, oh, no, it is just not okay. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies and now I feel like there's things crawling all over me and I do not like it. But I guess it is October, so getting in the spirit but anyways so we're in the car we're heading over to Vaughn's because I cut it I've never cut it this close on diapers honestly I'm usually really good about getting restock stuff for our house and having it so that we never run out of stuff because it whenever we run out of something I get really stressed and you know I try to avoid that stressful feeling so I usually try to get stuff ahead of time and stock up well we have literally one diaper left in our house and we've never ever gone that long or like <laughs> never cut it that close. Anyway, so we're gonna go to Vaughn's do that and then um, in this same center there's this cake place and I wanna stop by and ask a few questions because next month Levi turns one, which is so crazy. He's gonna be one years old and so I'm planning his birthday party and I'm also planning his cake smash shoot which I'm learning what that is. I never knew that was even a thing, but you have a photo shoot where you give them their own little cake and then they, you basically see what they do with it because it's like the first time they're eating cake. So I figured that I would just pop in to this little cake place because it's like right here. So anyways, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pop in there, go to Vaughn's and then head home and have some lunch and get this little boy situated. Look who's up from his nap. <laughs> Actually, he never fell asleep. He was just resting in there, huh? You forfeited that nap. And you, no more barking at the Amazon delivery guys. It's officially time to work out. I'm back in the garage. <laughs> this time not to work, but to work out. Here goes nothing. <laughs> say is that workout just kicked my booty I've not done that one before I have the peloton so there's like so many different classes that you can take on there and so you pretty much like you rarely take the same one twice but you can switch up your instructor and I've never had this instructor this particular instructor before and man he meant business I'll tell you lightning and thunder watch party 
<laughs> yeah, Whoa, that often. just reflected off of your face. Oh! <laughs> Look at him. He's so scared. Whoa. He's still oh. <gasps> oh my gosh. Storm's brewing. It actually does sound like it's raining. Oh. Do you get that one? Yeah. morning it is the next morning I'm trying to ugh, my hair needs to be washed it is the calm after the storm that yeah, storm last night was so insane there was so much thunder and lightning and it just started downpouring which was really unusual for San Diego weather so that was like kind of intense. At one point, the thunder was like directly above our house and straight up shook our house. <laughs> we were like, whoa. I think I mentioned already, but I have a photo shoot tomorrow for Addison and Gray. I've been prepping for that and just trying to get all prepared. I have to pull all the inventory out, steam it, put all the outfits together, double check that like I have all the pieces. I had to make sure I ordered some things in the mail, just like props and stuff. And so I was checking if those came which they did, thankfully. I've had in the past where they don't come on time and it's a real bummer, so that was good. I'm just like feeling very tired today. I don't know if it's the weather or what what it is, but I feel tired today, so. I'm also so sore, so sore from that workout yesterday. I kicked my booty. Are you awake? How did you sleep? Did you sleep so good? Oh yeah. Do you want some milk? Hey sugar, look, did you drop all your things on the ground? Did you drop all your things on the ground? Hi lovey. What did you decide to wear today? <laughs> Surf's up. Oh, that's good balancing. He is so close to walking and standing on his own, look. So close. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> we did just order Chipotle for lunch and I always get the burrito bowl with white rice, black beans, chicken, lettuce, and fajitas and it is so good. I love it. And then their chips, the Chipotle chips, are my absolute favorite chips pretty much ever. So I always have to get that and then I always get like a side of guac with it too. It's so yummy. Levi's over here eating too. I got him the kids meal. He loves black beans. So I usually just like break them apart, give them to him, and he loves it. It's like his favorite thing right now, I think, is like black beans, <laughs> which is hilarious, but it's great. Have you guys ever seen that video where the little boy, I can't remember if it was on Vine, like back in the day if it was on Vine or where it was, but the little boy, and he goes, I love Chipotle, Chipotle is my life. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you should look it up, it's hilarious. Bath time. Are you taking a bubble bath? Yeah. Just did a workout. Today, my workout was not as hard as the one I did yesterday. PTL. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We're gonna make dinner now. We do this thing called Hungry Root, and it's a, um, like a meal, what is it, like a meal plan? No. Meal delivery. Meal de yeah. <laughs> They're a meal delivery service called Hungry Root. And since Adam and I eat gluten-free, dairy-free, it's been really hard to find a delivery, meal delivery service that actually has things that we can eat. So we found Hungaroo and they have so many good things. We've been doing it now for probably like four or five months, I think. We've been doing it for quite a while. And we do three meals a week. So every Tuesday they send our meals in the mail and then we have three different like meals to choose from. They're super easy to cook. That's definitely true because everything's already made. So you just have to like put it together and heat it up. So like the three that we chose for this week were sweet, sweet potato and black bean tacos, Italian sausage with roasted veggies and brown rice and lean turkey and tater skillet. <laughs> we haven't had that one before, but we're gonna make the, which one? The turkey, turkey skillet. Turkey tater skillet. So we'll let you know, we'll show you whenever it's done, but that's what we're gonna make. Finished product. Not sure what we think about it yet, but we'll find out. All right, what do you rate dinner? Mm, it was like a seven out of 10, six out of 10 for me. 
I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. We usually like hungry real a lot. Yeah, true. Most I mean, there's a reason good. why we get three meals a week. That's all. That's most of meals are pretty most good. Most of the meals of our week that we eat from hunger group. It's true. Good morning, or I should say afternoon. It is already like 11 something, and I have all morning been just having the most stressful day ever. This morning, our backup photographer texts me saying that he's sick. I was basically scrambling all morning trying to figure out what we we're gonna do. Luckily, my friend Kara, who's also a photographer, was like, I'll step in, I can do it. I was like, bless you, thank you. I feel like I needed a little pep in my step and sometimes curling my hair and just getting ready makes me feel a little pep in my step. Oh, also, tonight, I'm planning on watching the season finale of Bachelor in Paradise because it was on, I think it was on last night or maybe on Monday night, I'm not sure, but um, it was on and I haven't watched it yet. So tonight, when I get home from the shoot, I'm planning on watching that and I cannot wait to see which couples are going to last and which ones aren't. That didn't curl, love that for me. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, also, you guys, do you see how, like, wavy my hair is under here? Do you see all this? My hair never used to do that with, before I got pregnant. For my entire life, my hair has been, like, stick straight like this. Like, literally does nothing. And ever since I've been pregnant, all the underneath hair, every time I get out of the shower, it does this. I'm like, what is happening? All right, all ready to go. And I got my best boy here. You wanna go eat lunch with mama before I have to go? Hello, friends, family, people. I just got a bunch of work done in the morning and then this afternoon my friend came over to visit, which was so fun. She has a two month old baby boy. And so that was really fun to just visit with her and we just kind of hung out and let the boys kind of, well, Levi kind of did circles around him because he's obviously two months, so he's not crawling or anything yet. And Levi is just crawling and active and all over. So it was kind of entertaining. Also, I don't know if I mentioned or if I like talked to you guys about the shoot yesterday. I put some footage up from it so you guys can kind of like get an idea, but the shoot ended up being so much fun. It was very cold. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that cold. In retrospect, I really wish that I had worn a beanie or something, but other than that, it was really fun. Just got out of the shower. It feels so nice. It's like literally the best time of the whole day when it's quiet and I can have a little bit of self-care. And tonight I'm going to be doing a face mask, which I'm so looking forward to because my skin really needs it. On Sunday when we were at Trader Joe's, I found, cannot get this out of the box with one hand. Okay, I found the pumpkin face mask, which I'm gonna try right now. I'm gonna put you guys here. I know it's a little low, but it's gonna have to do. Ooh, see the consistency of that? Hoo hoo, it's gonna be good. It's like so soft, I feel like. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells absolutely amazing i love it just for the smell even if it doesn't do anything for my skin literally smells like a pumpkin candle or something on my face while i'm doing this i have not chatted with you guys about the bachelor in paradise finale if you guys have watched it you will know what i'm talking about but i am so stinking happy that joe and serena got engaged um they are so cute together i feel really bad for kendall because i feel like that's sort of a bad situation on her end like she clearly still is in love with joe and joe's moved on and that's just i really feel for her on that so that's that was hard to watch but i am very happy for joe and serena and i feel like they're a really cute couple i mean i'm happy for all the couples that got engaged like kenny and mari are cute they kind of had like an interesting go i feel like riley and marissa are so sweet together too i actually really love riley you can tell he's just a good guy and i just really i'm happy for all the couples i feel like that really worked out this time around there's a lot of bachelor in paradise's seasons or i feel like people don't really end up together so 
That was very um, like satisfying to watch. <laughs> and it was really fun to watch the finale. So had to talk with you guys about that. Sorry if I spoiled it, if you haven't already watched it, but I'm sure you have, because by the time I post this, it'll be old news. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for being here, for following along this week. It was so fun to do a weekly vlog. Like I said, this was the first time I've ever done one and I really enjoyed it. So thanks for being here. And um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when more videos come out, then you can subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.